So if I lost everything tomorrow and had to start over uh, again, here's how I would build my wealth. I would start immediately on the front line of revenue, meaning getting revenue in the door. Me, other people, wouldn't matter. Sales, right? I would start to figure out how to produce value to the market, which it's needed, and get it into people's hands. And I would go to the sources that need it, and I would start to provide those options for them. Now, that may be a lot of different things. Now, if I was talking you know, real estate, you could talk about different asset classes or different businesses that you're saying. At the end of the day, though, it's all the same. Yeah. And different times in different markets, there's different opportunities to execute on the same thing. But I would immediately go in and focus on the front line of the businesses and how to grow revenue. I would start my own businesses, and then I would allocate those business profits into real estate. When starting my own business, it would be a cash flow generating business that would be, uh, I would be able to scale uh, quickly through service. That's a little more risky, um, but it's a way to get high margins, grow quickly, and then start allocating that cash flow into other assets. Um, now there's a whole lot of things that come like, do you need to survive? Do you need to get a job to pay bills, right? Everything else. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would be looking at areas to where I could build a foundation slowly that would be very sturdy that I could build something greater off of. And I would look to a lane which I could build out um, an ecosystem and I would dive deep into that and I would start building it out one line at a time. Speaking of one at a time, how do you balance uh, personally in your business world, doing one thing really, really well and just sticking with that versus the ideas and the, the you want to be vertically, vertically integrate and all that stuff. Cause I know you have seven businesses. Yeah. I have multiple ones, yep. but the common advice is just do one thing. And I, you know, I'm sure we're both fans of the one yeah. thing, that concept that yes. matters. How do you balance those two things? Those kind of competing uh, desires in your heart to be focused and committed, but also to do a lot of stuff. So a, a lot of my, what we look at is, I have a concept we call universally integrated. And that means that our universally integrated system is as you vertically integrate, you have businesses that service the core, right? So it's like, all right, we have this line item of expense that is so large, we can internalize that, save money, and we don't need to, that's vertical integration. We're building it all out into our own system. We also look then at, all right, outward facing. So not just inward facing vertical in integration, but outward facing. Um, and we can then go out and sell products, have another line of revenue, but it is still focused around our core competencies. So we get good at one thing. We identify opportunities at our one thing that we're doing. We build out along those core competencies, and it still services the one thing that I'm doing. So our companies are all servicing the same real point what we're trying to achieve. So it, it is still focused, right? They should, in theory, with vertical integration, they should compound the original source. It should benefit it to keep it moving forward. So if I'm going to do something else, it's not that I'm putting the other one beside. I want it to help it. I want it to grow it. I want it to build it. So as I'm building out these other lines of revenue, I diversify my income. I lower the risk. That allows me to focus and use capital wisely on the one thing. And then it should be able to leverage that one thing to the next level and it rounds out our actual business plan. So it looks like lots of different businesses, right? And everything, but it's still stra it's still around our core competencies doing the same thing we're doing every day. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah, I look at that as like it is yeah, it is still one thing. You're not yeah. focused on 50 things. It's just you've elevated the one thing to a that's higher correct. level. It's not self storage. Exactly. You are, but it, that is simply one business line of a one business. Exactly. Yeah. Our, so if you look at our businesses, we have property management, we have the private equity, we have architecture, development, debt brokerage, we have our property management system tech company, we have the marketing company, then we have the educational platform, which is books, um, deal flow, everything else. We have our brand, which is a nationwide brand. 
um, which is our, our, our uh, store local. So half of those are outward facing. All these companies that I just mentioned. I have other side companies that I've invested in, things like that that I don't really do anything with. But all the things that are under, they, they, they go to the same thing. Yep. The ROI of the individual location. Same thing that we were doing when we started out. We had a very simple business plan when it came to storage. I said, all right, we are going to do this. We're going to buy something in a location we thought was good. We are going to um, make people pay the bills. And then we're going to answer the phone when people call. And that was better than most people were doing at yeah, the time. This is prior to 2008. <laughs> so that was a very successful business model. Then you started to add things like, well, maybe we'll do a website. Maybe we start marketing online, right? Well, that was even better. And uh, everything that we're doing today still goes to that very, very simple thing. We will buy in a great location. We will operate in a way that, you know, other people can't or don't. And then from there, we will increase that revenue. It's all the same thing that we're doing every day. We're rolling out different tech options. And for us, we found that the industry was consolidating rapidly. Extra Space just became the largest self-storage company in the world. And when they did the acquisition that made them the largest storage company in the world, you know what they said? Size matters. They go, it really matters to us. We need to be bigger. They're the biggest. Yeah. And they said that we have to grow like this. Why? Because of their operations, their internal competitiveness ability. We knew this. And I knew that this consolidation was going to put everybody else at a disadvantage. So then we said, well, how can we act like them, get all the same things? That's when the out outward facing part of the integration works because me with our portfolio, which is nothing compared to the big boys, like you're talking about, it's just unreal how much real estate these guys own, right? How many doors the REITs do these publicly traded companies. Well, if we took independent operators and we created systems that made them do better, we would do better. And as a group, we're actually way bigger than the REITs. And we could use that power, that buying, that leverage, that technology, and then my stores can compete with the REITs. And so that's what we did. So it was still designed around that, increasing the ROI per location. And that's what that's what we do great. We're revenue focused, revenue generated general. I want to do everything to expand and grow that revenue. It's what we always say, the asset comes first. I don't worry about everything else, investors, all that kind of stuff. Because at the end of the day, if the asset does good, we will all be we'll fine. Win. Yeah. If we don't, if we're, if our core competencies aren't aligned with that, we're done. Yeah. And two, my time frame of expectation is not on the time frame of anybody else. It's not on my time frame. It's not on investors' time frame. It's not. Any, it's on the assets' time frame. Meaning that we don't put ourselves in a bad position to where timing's off and we're going bankrupt or we have to refinance or we're getting in trouble. Right. We don't want to do that because we want to put a, a structure on those assets that allows all our businesses to be operating in unison and build up that revenue. So it's a long-term strategy with lots of legs that are separate businesses that are both inward and outward facing. But it's but that all that just comes out still that just one thing what we're trying to do.